Hello, I'm Rob Walker of Rob's Wellness and Yoga, my science-based yoga platform at newyoga.ca. Today, I want to tell you about the five major unnecessary or misleading cues that show up all too often in your local yoga studios. Many of these erroneous cues have been handed down for generations of teachers without them being aware of new findings emerging from current movement sciences like biomechanics. I'm sure if you attend yoga classes at your local studios or online, you'll have heard some of the following five common cues that just don't seem to go away. Number one, in tree pose, never put the raised foot on the opposite knee. Turns out this common cue is unnecessary nonsense that simply undermines the credibility of yoga teachings. The pressure of the raised foot on the opposite knee is never strong enough to damage the knee joint. Yoga icon Bernie Clark proves in his important book, Your Body, Your Yoga, this simply isn't necessary. So feel free to put your foot anywhere on the opposite leg. Teachers will stress with an authoritative frown, don't let your knee go ahead of the ankle in warrior poses, low lunges or chair pose, because that'll stress the knee. The truth is, you won't harm the knee by letting it move ahead of the ankle. Consider, for example, what happens outside the realm of yoga in powerlifting or when you're simply going upstairs. Point number three, Patabi Joyce, the father of Ashtanga Yoga, coined the common cue, practice, and all is coming, the reason for many yoga injuries. The oft-repeated saying creates a false impression that you should ignore how attempting the pose actually feels in your body, so keep pushing harder. This ignores the fact that the shape of your bones places limitations to your body that you can never overcome, says Clark. Injuries in my own career are a testimony to that. Point number four, micro bend the knee. Another cue that's trotted out in many yoga classes ignores the biomechanics of the knee. For most people, there's no danger from straightening the leg fully, provided the pose is done mindfully and the quads are strongly engaged to prevent hyperextension. To continually micro bend the knee misses the point of hamstring stretching in forward folds and is simply an unnecessary cue. The exception is yin yoga, where the intention is different. Just listen to your own body, especially in triangle pose, the one exception where hyperextension in the front leg can be painful. And the last point is wrap your foot around the opposite calf in eagle pose. The distance between the thigh bone and the sit bones determines whether this is even physically possible, says Clark. And yet, I was strongly encouraged in a workshop I took in Kelowna, BC some years back with senior Iyengar teacher Ramanan Patel to do just that. My shins hurt for a week. Those five common errors are just a few of the many more I talk about on pages 52 to 53 in my book, The New Yoga from Cult and Dogma to Science and Sanity. For even more details on the science behind these five mistaken cues, read Bernie Clark's Your Body, Your Yoga, one of the most valuable books to challenge many yoga cues on the basis of science. Thank you.